All right, welcome to our daily community meditation. So lately I've been meditating on this verse from Psalm 84, verse 11. It says, for the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord gives grace and glory. He withholds no good thing from those who walk with integrity. First of all, God is a sun and a shield. He's a protection. He lights our path. He illuminates our path. He gives us protection and he gives grace and glory. Notice this combination. He gives us grace and glory. That Those two things. Grace, number one. You could translate it as his undeserved favor. You could say it's his power. It's his willingness to help. It's his forgiveness, his mercy. And he gives us his glory. Now, glory in this verse, if you look at the original Hebrew, it can be translated as honor, splendor. It could be abundance or riches. God gives us out of his glory, out of the riches of his glory. And he withholds no good thing. So God's not the one withholding things from us. Sometimes we feel like things are getting held up. He's not the one withholding. Think about it. If he willingly sent his son, how would he not graciously and freely give us all things richly to enjoy, the Bible tells us. If he would do that, he's not the one withholding. He didn't withhold Jesus. From those who walk with integrity. This word integrity means completeness, soundness, perfectness, wholeness. Well, we have that in Christ. So if we're walking in the light, we're walking in Christ. God is a sun and a shield. He gives grace and glory. No good thing does he withhold. So we're going to take communion over this today. This is a time of gratitude. And we would ask God to help us to receive this and walk in this grace and glory that he gives us. Let's get started with the daily prayer. And then we'll get into our time of communion after that. Heavenly Father, we just pray for everybody who's watching or listening, their families, their friends, everybody connected to them, and all of our church and governmental leaders. And I thank you for releasing us from darkness and transferring us into the light, into the kingdom of Jesus. I thank you for your purpose and grace given to us in Christ Jesus before time ever began. And that Jesus was struck down, he was smitten, bruised and pierced and crushed and destroyed, all so that you could be on the throne, that you could be fighting for us. And Father, I keep asking that you would help us to know you more and more. That the eyes of our hearts would be enlightened to know the hope to which you've called us and the riches of your glorious inheritance that is in us, and the immeasurable greatness of your power to us who believe, the same power that you exercised in Christ when you raised him from the dead, and you seated him at your right hand in heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come, and you put all things under his feet and made him to be the head of the body. The fullness of him who fills all in all. And Father, I ask you to bless us. To expand our borders and our territory. To expand our capacity to receive everything you've given us in Christ. And to let it flow through us so we do good and are a blessing to people all over the world. Send us opportunities to do good and be a blessing today. And help us make the most of those opportunities. Keep your hand on us and help us do today what's right and best in your eyes. And do it with peace and joy and confidence in you. And we ask you to stretch out your hand to heal. And do signs and wonders and keep us from evil and pain. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And Father, we're so grateful for these scriptures, that you are a sun and shield, that you give us grace and glory, and no good thing that you withhold. And we're asking for your help, Father, to receive this, to receive your grace and your glory that you've given us, to receive it and to understand it, to walk in it, to apply it in the fullness of the Lord, the way that you desire us to. And we think of the night Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread and he said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. 
I just thank you that we get this opportunity today to remember. We've been made one with you through the sacrifice of Jesus. So take our bread. And after supper, Jesus took the cup. And he said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood, poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. I just thank you that we have to have this covenant relationship with you, Father. Let's go and take our juice. All right. Let's talk about some practical application into our health and fitness. So, there's going to be days when you don't feel like you have the energy or the strength, the stamina to work out that day. But it's important to remember God is supplying the grace for exercise today. And learning how to look to that, to tap into that, to rely on him as your source of strength and stamina and energy, to rely on him for those things. But keep remembering God is with you. He loves you and nothing's impossible for him.